this is the latest 782 that I've bought. I've had this one for about three weeks now, something like that. It's pretty intact as far as all the extra everything that normally is missing off of these. Uh, this one did have hubcaps. Uh, the front turned out pretty good. The back I couldn't do, really do anything with. So I just left it like it was. I took some steel wool to both the front and the rear. The, like I said, the back didn't really clean up as good. Uh, the seat was fairly decent. It did have some holes in it. You can see them. Uh, when I first got it, it was real brittle. I soaked it down with some um, leather conditioner for a pretty good while, and it softened up. So it's uh, a whole lot more pliable now than what it was. But like I said, it still got a couple holes in it, which, you know, it was set outside the whole time. Nothing really surprising there. They put new cables on it. It is missing the battery strap. Still got a good decal on the back side. If it is a replacement, and I think it is because it's it's a Michigan seat, I'm pretty sure it's a replacement seat, which it's still in good shape considering how long it's set outside. Uh, the lights were in pretty good shape. This one did have a rear factory lift on it which is nice to find paint is shot like i said it's been sitting outside for the guy said three years but i think it uh the battery that was in it was like dated a long time ago at least five years old so it's probably been sitting out at least five years maybe longer than that It is missing the brake pedal pad. The footrest pads are there. They're coming up. I got to glue them back down. That's what the, that side hubcap looks like in the front. Let's see. Flip this back. The control valves do not leak, which is really amazing. Dash is in fairly decent shape. Like I said, the B is sitting outside as long as what it did. The hour gauge, you can't read. Uh, PTO does work on this one. It's kind of shocking to me, but it does. Original KT-17. The guy said when he parked it, he put um, new points and condenser don't know whether he did or not, but it doesn't, didn't really take me a whole lot to get it going again. I had a reboot carburetor that I had here in stock, so I put it on it. Did have to replace the fuel pump. It had let or the fuel bypass go into the carburetor, then from there it went straight into the crankcase. So I had a crankcase full of gasoline I had to drain out. And somebody, when they went to drain the oil in this thing, rounded the plug off. So I wound up pulling the engine. Of course, I was gonna do that anyway to deal with that. The shrouds and everything are there. The spring for the side panels is there. Original wiring. The hood's in fairly decent shape. It does have one D in it that I'll show you when I shut it down. decal on this side. I cleaned it up with some Kestrel Super Clean and I thought I messed up because when I sprayed it it started running like the color started coming off of it so I took my hand hand and wiped it real quick and sprayed it down with the water hose and that uh, brightened it up quite a bit. Walk around to the front. It does have the hood spear. It's got the 
optional upgraded grill on it and it does have every one that I've got so far I've had to source and replace but that one is original to this one it does have a little bit of rust up under here it did come with a deck and the undercarriage and all that with it but I took it off it was in pretty bad shape but I'm trying to work on it and get it a little bit nicer might put it in stock for later on for a backup who knows and I don't know if you can see or not but right there is the dent I may take something see if I can knock it back out or I might just leave it alone haven't really decided yet but besides the decal on it's in fairly decent shape too board on this side. Uh, decal is there. The drive shaft, like uh, the speed control was all froze up. Uh, the hydraulic lift lever was all froze up. So I wound up spraying the linkages and everything good with uh, penetrating oil and keep working back and forth and finally got them loose. That helped a lot. They move fairly easy now compared to what they did before. Still got to work on them a little bit. But the fan blade's not all busted up. But I may sell this one. I don't know yet. Still trying to kind of figure out what's what I'm going to do with it. So another shot of the back. We cut the lights on real quick. Like I said, to be uh, sitting outside for five plus years doesn't look real, real bad. Walk around the front. I was really surprised about the grill. Because my 172 actually had to buy the upgraded grill because it had just a standard cheap grill in it. But this one came that way. But yeah, all in all, it's, it's not too bad. There's my other 782 that I mow with in the background and here's my one that I just play with that's the one we did the Vanguard conversion on but all in all it's not too bad of a tractor um, thanks for watching.